Hello and welcome. My name's Leon Davis. I'm a cloud solution architect with Microsoft specializing in SAP on Azure. Today I'd like to talk to you about improving networking performance on your VMs, uh, specifically through the use of proximity placement groups, but also through the use of enabling uh, accelerated networking. So let's get started. I've got a very simplified example of an SAP landscape here. I know there would be more VMs in, a, in the grand scheme of things, but purely for example purposes, all I've done is created an application subnet and a database subnet with a couple of VMs in each, both sitting in an availability set. So if these are being deployed into East US region, uh, there is the risk that the servers themselves will be placed into any number of the data centers inside the region. So conveniently in this example, my database servers have been segregated away or separated away from my application servers. So one sitting in DCA and the others are sitting in DCB. This can obviously have an effect to latency. While it's not huge latency, uh, it, any latency you have between your app servers and your DB servers has a, a, a knock-on effect to SAP's performance. So to improve that, we create a proximity placement group. We assign the, uh, the availability sets and the underlying VMs to, to that PPG. And then when, you, when, it's, when they're brought up, uh, the VMs will start in the same proximity to each other. Hence, that will improve networking performance. Okay, the lab today will, will replicate exactly that scenario. So uh, I'm going to have four VMs um, and in different subnets, don't mind the birds, um, uh, <laughs> different subnets. And we're going to, I'm gonna baseline the test to start with. Um, I'm going to just deploy the VMs uh, by default with no PPG, with no accelerated networking. We'll capture the results by using NIPing, um, and then we will enable PPG, rerun the tests, and then we'll add accelerated networking, rerun the tests again, and then we'll wrap up with a bit of a comparison between the results, and hopefully we should see something, uh, some, some good results from, from when we first started to when we're finished. Okay. I'm in my lab, uh, I've got my four VMs. So you can see at the top here is app one and app two, down the bottom is DB1 and DB2. So these VMs, they're just basic Linux VMs. SAP actually hasn't been deployed on them yet. This is purely an example of testing networking between VMs, so I didn't see the need. Um, so what I have it deployed though is uh, SAP's testing tool, NIPing. I'll include some information in the notes uh, on NIPing if you want more information, if you wanna learn about it. Essentially, it's a testing tool for testing round trip times between uh, between servers. So I'm just going to set up uh, on the three servers, app2, db1 and db2, NIPing to be in listening mode or in server mode. Um, so they're all listening. And then from app1, I'm just going to run a simple NIPing test. I'm, I've, I've cranked it up to 10,000 round trip tests. This will happen quite quickly. Um, but yeah, and this will give us our results. So let's have a look what we get. Okay, so the one of most interest is the AV2, which excludes you know, the max and min, so it gives a more realistic uh, average. So average being uh, 0.502 milliseconds, which is not too bad. Um, uh, but yeah, we can see if we can try and improve that performance. What I'll do now is I'll capture that information into a spreadsheet. I'll then retest all the others against each other, capture all that into a spreadsheet as well. Um, but I won't bore you with going through all that testing. So uh, we'll come back to the next stage, which will be uh, enabling PPG. Okay, so here I am, I'm in the Azure console. Uh, I'm going to create um, a proximity placement group and then I'm gonna assign that uh, to my availability sets where my VMs are, are assigned. Um, yeah, so the only unfortunate thing, if you've already got your landscape deployed, then you're gonna to have to shut down the VMs. There's no way around that at this point. Uh, they need to be shut down and deallocated uh, and then, then you can create and assign the proximity placement group. Um, it's fine, you can create all this in advance if you're starting a new SAP landscape, but uh, for anyone who's, who wants to implement, implement this on an existing landscape, a bit of a pain for production, you'll have to do this through a maintenance window. Okay, so my machines are stopped and deallocated. I'm just gonna to go to proximity placement groups. And I'm gonna click add. 
Then I'm going to pick my subscription. I'm going to pick uh, my region. And I'm going to give it a name. Let's call it SAP underscore PPG. Okay, so when my phone stops ringing, we'll be fine. Um, okay, so that's been created. Oh no, it's been validated, excuse me. So that's been created. Next, we'll go jump over to the availability sets. My proximity placement group has been created. So now I can assign uh, my availability groups to it. So if I go to App AV and click on configuration, there's SAP PPG and click save and repeat the same for the database. That's it. Okay, so now they've been assigned, I, I'm going to bring up the virtual machines and then we'll rerun a test. Okay, we're back into the remote desktop. Uh, I've restarted the VMs, I've reconnected, and I've got NI ping service running on the three VMs. I'm just gonna repeat that test now that they're sitting in proximity placement groups. And fingers crossed, we should see a little bit of improvement. And yes, okay, so the AV2 is now 0.37. So it was uh, 0.5, something before. Look, just to repeat it, I'll just do it again, just to, to make sure, but uh, it's usually pretty consistent considering it's doing 10,000 tries. Um, yep, three, four, five, so yep, looking good. I'll repeat those steps now, uh, those tests are between all the VMs, uh, capture the results in my little spreadsheet, and then we'll look at uh, enabling accelerated networking. Back into the Azure console. This time I'm going to use the PowerShell uh, to enable uh, accelerated networking. You can enable accelerated networking when you deploy the VMs the first time, but I'm just going to do it from the console. Um, so you can see here, uh, I've stopped my VMs again. Uh, I've jumped into app one into networking, and then I can see my interface name here, app 2779. And you can see over the right here, accelerated networking is disabled. So all I'm doing is this command line here, which you can see, and just set accelerated networking to true, and hit enter. I'll put this command down the bottom uh, in the uh, in the notes, uh, but yeah, you can get this from the um, uh, from the Azure documentation as well. So you can see that has completed, and provision state now is set to succeeded. Um, if I jump out of this and jump back into networking. I could have pressed F5, but you can see now accelerated networking is enabled. I'm going to repeat this step uh, on the four VMs, uh, then I'll start them up and then we'll go in for our final test. Back into my remote desktop, uh, you can see I've got the service running again and I'm just about to run it. So now we've got proximity placement groups and accelerated networking running and hopefully we should see, wow, and that's just smashed through those uh, 10,000 messages already. Uh, and now the average two is now 0.1. So we started off at about 0.5, uh, now 0.1 of a millisecond. So that's great. I'll, I'm gonna keep repeating this now on the rest of the VMs, capture the results, then we'll do some comparisons. Okay, the results are in, the results have been tallied. Here we go. We've got our latency down the left-hand side here. Uh, and then we've got our nodes down the bottom. So we've got app one to app two, app one to DB one and etc. Then we've got our three tests. So the red line at the top here is our, our baseline. So that's our virtual machine that's that, that have just been deployed by default and we've let them fall where they land. So they could have been in any number of data centers in a region. Uh, so you can see there's some really inconsistent results there. Then we put in uh, proximity placement groups and you can see that's really improved things significantly down to 0.3. Uh, and then the real superstar here is this. This guy, the green line here at point one, it's it's across the board. It's looking nice and stable, nice and lean. I ran this multiple times to see if there was any change and this, this was rock solid. So I encourage you to put this in on your existing SAP landscapes or check that it's enabled on your uh, existing landscapes. Um, and if you are a SI who, who implements SAP on Azure, 
make sure this is part of your your architecture uh, design i'm sure it is but just always worth just checking again um, and with that if, if you're someone also who is putting in uh, sap or making this change on an existing sap landscape on azure go and check your, your batch jobs that run overnight uh, the next day and just see what the difference is between the, the between the other days you would should see some real significant changes or some improvements in time so so i encourage you to check that out and with that i'd like to say thank you for watching i hope you found this really enjoyable um, please leave a comment below if you would uh, like any other topics or some specific topics you would like us to cover happy to do so um, but uh, yeah with that I hope you found this really useful and stay hungry for knowledge and I'll see you next time thanks very much bye bye